Oui, bonjour les étudiants de classe 9. Uh, hope you're fine. Okay, so today we'll be continuing the exercises of uh, lesson 3. Je cherche une correspondante. As I told you, it's one big uh, lesson, so we are going slowly so that we got enough time. You got enough time to write your classwork. Uh, today we'll be doing three exercises uh, with uh, the questioning, answering, and so on. Okay, uh, so which are easy. Okay, we'll be using uh, cal. Okay, so adjective and interrogative. Uh, and uh, so then few more exercises to question to answer that's it okay and uh, so merci and uh, thank you so much for the guys who have sent the verbs okay which i told in the last class video and uh, so the other things hope you're writing okay so please share your uh, notebooks photos so that we can share it in our group and uh, if the others they got any doubts they can just check your notes wait thank you so much guys let's get into the slides and here it is les adjectifs interrogatifs okay we have been saying this uh, for quite long time i uh, hope you remember the questions like quelle est votre nationalité quel âge avez-vous quelle est votre profession que quelle langue parlez-vous quel sport pratiquez-vous so all those questions we have been saying in sound standard six standard and so on right okay so here we got uh, the same thing uh, a small revision Uh, so where we use cal and where we use the other cal so cal we got in four forms okay cal we got in four forms uh, which is masculine uh, singular masculine plural feminine singular feminine plural okay so the left side uh, the left side which we got in orange uh, they are masculine and the right side they are in uh, feminine okay so q u e l it's masculine singular q u e l s it's masculine plural the right side you can see q u e l l e which is feminine singular and uh, q u e l l e s it's uh, feminine plural uh, we gave you some uh, examples cal bistro uh, cal affiche so cal bistro which means which restaurant which uh, cafe uh, cal affiche which means which poster which notice or which poster cal pays tu am so the side so pays which is masculine okay masculine and singular so we use cal so which country you like okay cal means which or what okay but uh, normally it's which uh, cal film tu regardes which movie you are watching okay cal monument tu am what monuments you like so you can see the word monument it's plural okay it ends with s so we use q u e l s right and the side cal affiche cal affiche al regarde so which poster she is looking at Quel est ton adresse? The word address, which is feminine, so we use Q U E L L E. Affiche, same way. And the last one you can see, quel ville vous visitez? So which city is you are visiting? Okay, ville. It's feminine plural. Okay, feminine plural. So we'll be using Q U E L L E S, right? Alright. So next, uh, this is the exercise we got with quel. Uh, okay, trouver la question en utilisant l'adjectif interrogatif quel. Okay, so Q U E L it's actually the default form. Okay, the masculine singular form will be the default thing for uh, not just this. Okay, for all the adjectives. Okay, for all the adjectives, then you got to do that uh, accord. Okay, so if it's like ma uh, feminine, you got to add e at times and so on. Uh, so here, j'aime beaucoup les chats. Okay, so I like uh, I like cats a lot. Al adore Tom Cruise. She adores Tom Cruise. So Tom Cruise, hope you know, is actually a Hollywood actor. Okay, so famous for Mission Impossible and so on. Okay, so nous habitons à Agra. So we live in Agra. Il aime le palais de Versailles. He likes the Versailles Palace. Okay, so Versailles Palace, it's one famous palace in Paris. Okay, so where the queens, kings, they have lived. J'aime beaucoup les mathématiques. J'aime beaucoup les mathématiques, uh, which is a false statement. Uh, I like Max a lot. Okay, I don't know how many of you like Max, but still. Uh, so now you got to frame questions. Okay, you got to frame questions using cal. Okay, so you can see the first sentence. We are talking about an animal. Okay, cat is an animal. Okay, it's so the second question. Uh, the second sentence, pardon, it's actually about an actor. Okay, so we talk about animal, actor. The third sentence, you are talking about a city. 
okay we are talking about a city and the fourth sentence we are talking about a monument okay le palais de versailles or a palace or a monument we are talking about and the last sentence we are talking about a subject mathematics which is a subject okay la science la social la géographie l'histoire mathématique oui and so on so then english uh, french and all their languages la langue okay mathematics it's a subject so now you got to uh, ask like uh, which animal you like for example for the first question so which animal you like a lot okay i like cats a lot okay so that will be the uh, proper question for it right okay we got to use cal and the second question will be like which actor she likes okay which actor she likes and the third question should be like which city you are living in okay which city you are living in okay so we live in agra that that's how we can answer uh ilam le palais de versailles he likes the versailles palace so which monument he likes or which palace he likes right so the last one j'aime beaucoup les mathématiques i like max a lot uh what subject you like okay what subject you like so that's how you got to frame questions so uh but uh, keep in mind you got to be careful with the the cal okay so masculine feminine singular plural and so on so the first question you can ask which animal you like okay so uh, do not check the words which are uh, in the answer okay which are in these sentences you no need to use this is plural so we got to use plural in the question no need okay which animal you like okay cal animal tu am cal animal tu am animal it's masculine singular okay cal animal okay so we'll be using masculine singular form of cal q u e l cal animal tu am or cal animal vous aimez okay both are fine tu am or vous aimez okay you can even write am tu aimez vous okay you can even use the inverse form okay? so and uh, same way try to write try to take notes uh, when we are like uh, when i'm uh, saying the answers now okay don't wait till i pass to the next slide okay so that's fine that's to check okay so when i'm moving to the next slide where we see the answers that you can check okay but if you can really write uh, when i'm saying the answers now okay that's really a good habit to learn the language okay so so just try to write in pencil so that if in case you have made a mistake you can erase and you can rewrite with the uh, uh, with a pen right uh, so the second one al ador tom cruise so tom cruise is a male artist okay a male actor so you got to ask like which actor she likes okay uh, you can write al ador cal actor cal actor so again we'll be using the masculine singular form of cal q u e l and then actor a c t e u r a c t e u r cal actor al ador or al ador cal actor cal actor ador tel okay ador tel t uh, in between so question mark so the third one nous habitons à agra nous habitons à agra so which city you are living in so which city cal ville cal ville ville v i l l e okay v i l l e it's city and uh, which is feminine singular feminine singular so we'll be using cal q u e l l e cal ville habitez-vous or cal ville vous habitez oui or so nous habitons is given so it's better with uh, vous habitez okay cal ville vous habitez so the last before one il aime le palais de versailles il il aime le palais de versailles um uh, so anyway the word palais or monument both are masculine singular okay Uh, palais tends to test but don't think it's plural it's singular okay singular and plural we got the same cell, uh, spelling palais p i and so on so you'll be using cal palais q u e l cal palais uh, il am or cal monument il am q u e l monument m o n u m e n t cal monument il am 
or calpale ilam. So j'aime beaucoup les mathématiques. J'aime beaucoup les mathématiques. So I like Max a lot. So which subject you like? Okay, so cal matière. Okay, matière is the word for subject. Okay, M A T I E accent grave. Hari. Cal matière. Matière is feminine singular. So we'll be using cal Q U E L L E. Okay, cal matière. Am tu? Question mark. So okay, for the third one and the last one, we'll be using the feminine cal. Okay, feminine form of cal. So we'll see the answers in the slide here. Trouvez la question en utilisant l'adjectif interrogatif cal. Quel animal aimes-tu? Quel acteur aimes-tel? Quelle ville habitez-vous? Quel palais aimes-tel? Quel matière aimes-tu beaucoup? Okay, you can add beaucoup or not. Okay, that's fine. Okay, even for the first question, you can add beaucoup or not. That's okay. Oui, so fine with this. Uh, we'll head to the next exercise. Posez des questions. Okay, so again, you got to ask questions. Uh, but they didn't mention that you got to use cal. Okay, so no need to use cal. You can just ask questions. Okay, you can use cal or even the other uh, interrogative words. Yeah, but you got to ask questions. And you can see there is uh, no answer starting with we or no. Okay, so there is no answer starting with we or no. Uh, so uh, you can't uh, use esque. Okay, it's a bit difficult to use esque because when you use esque in a question, uh, the answer should be obviously with s or no. Okay? So pose the question. Je travaille aux États-Unis. I work in the United States. Okay, je travaille aux États-Unis. I work in the United States. Il est ingénieur. He is an engineer. He is an engineer. Nous allons à Delhi. We go to Delhi. Okay, we go to Delhi. Je regarde un film. I watch a movie. I watch a movie. Elle déteste le cinéma. She hates movies. He hates cinema or he, uh, she hates movies. Cinema comes with an accent. The accent is missing. So kindly uh, put the accent over the E in cinema. Right to left, accent aigu. Uh, je travaille aux États-Unis. I'm working in the United States. So where do you work? That will be the question, right? Where do you work? So where? We use où. Okay. Où travaillez-vous? Où travaillez-vous? OU accent. That will be where. Like same way like où habitez-vous? Remember? Où habitez-vous? It's the same thing. Où travaillez-vous? Je travaille aux États-Unis. Okay. You can even ask like, quel pays travaillez-vous? Okay. Quel pays vous travaillez? Okay. So there are more possible ways. Uh, you can just write où travaillez-vous or quel pays vous travaillez? Pays, P-A-Y-S and it's masculine singular. Okay. So Q-U-E-L. The second one. Il est ingénieur. Il est ingénieur. So you can ask, quelle est sa profession? Quelle est sa profession? So profession, it's feminine. So we use sa, S-A, his profession. And also we use cal, Q-U-E-L-L-E. -L -E. Cal est sa profession. P-R-O-F-E-S-S-I-O-N. Cal est sa profession. You can even ask like, qu'est-ce qu'il fait? Qu'est-ce qu'il fait? Que fait-il? Okay, what is he doing? Okay, what is he doing? Il est ingénieur. Even that's fine. Okay, que fait-il? Qu'est-ce qu'il fait? Oui. Right. So third one. Nous allons à Delhi. Nous allons à Delhi. We go to Delhi. We are going to Delhi or we go to Delhi. So where are you going? Okay, where are you going? Où allez-vous? The same uh, questioning word that we used in first question, var, OU accent can be used here. Où allez-vous? Okay, où allez-vous? Nous allons à Delhi. Okay, so where do you go? So the last before one, je regarde un film. 
I'm watching a movie. Je regarde un film. I'm watching a movie. So, qu'est-ce que tu regardes? Okay, qu'est-ce que? Q U apostrophe E S T hyphen C E Q U E. Qu'est-ce que tu regardes? Je regarde un film. Que regardes-tu? Que regardes-tu? Even you can write Q U E. Regardes-tu? With an hyphen? Question mark. Oui. Que regardes-tu? What are you watching? Okay. Or you can even ask Que fais-tu? Que fais-tu? Qu'est-ce que tu fais? What are you doing? I'm watching a movie. Okay. Que fais-tu? You can even say. So Al déteste le cinéma. She hates movies. Qu'est-ce qu'elle déteste? Qu'est-ce qu'elle déteste? So what doesn't uh, what doesn't she like? What she hates? Qu'est-ce qu'elle déteste? When you're using qu'est-ce que with al, so you use apostrophe q u apostrophe e s t hyphen c e q u apostrophe e l l e. Well, it's a bit difficult to follow, but still, we can see the answers now. I mean the questions here. Où travailles-tu? Quelle est sa profession? Où allez-vous? Que regardes-tu? Qu'est-ce qu'elle déteste? Okay, if you got your own questions, uh, you can write those. But please check if it's correct. You can, if you have tried something new, if you'd like to try, you can send uh, a picture of the answer. I'll sure check and I'll let you know if it's correct or not. If there is a mistake, sure, I'll correct. Oui? Voilà. And uh, please do not follow the guide. Okay, so the guide, no need to follow. These are simple exercises. So if you got a guide, so you can keep it away. If in case you got any doubts, you can refer. But don't copy the answers from the guide. Okay, that's not a good habit. Right? So then uh, that's it for here. So we'll move to the ninth exercise. Répondez. Okay, we'll stop with this exercise. Répondez. Answer. So here we got questions and you got to answer. So right. it's, they are open type questions. You can answer whatever you want. Qu'est-ce que vous cherchez? Qu'est-ce que vous cherchez? What you're looking for? So what you're searching? Okay, what you're searching. So you can write the uh, lesson heading itself. Okay, you can write the lesson heading for this. Je cherche une correspondante. Okay, I'm looking for a French friend. Okay, I mean, I'm looking for a pen friend. Okay, pen friend. Um, a contact even. Correspondant means. So, or you can even write, je cherche un, un stylo, je cherche mon sac, okay, je cherche mon chien, okay, so something like that. Tu connais un acteur français? Tu connais un acteur français? You know a French actor? Okay, here you can use yes or no. Oui, je connais un acteur français. Okay, non, je ne connais pas d'acteur, okay, d apostrophe. Okay, non, je ne connais pas d'acteur français. Okay, I don't know any French actor. Okay, you can use yes or no. Okay. Qu'est-ce qu'ils écoutent? Qu'est-ce qu'ils écoutent? What are they listening to? Okay, what are they listening to? So, ils écoutent la radio. Ils écoutent de la musique. Ils écoutent le professeur. For example, okay, so they are listening to the radio. They are listening to the music. They are listening to the teacher. Okay, so whatever you want, you can write. Il écoute, but uh, it should be uh, appropriate with the verb écouter. Oui. Il écoute des chansons. They are listening to some songs. So the last before one. Où elle habite? Où elle habite? Where is she living? Où elle habite? So elle habite à Chennai. Elle habite à Pondicherry. Elle habite à Paris. Elle habite en France. I love it aux états unis Okay, so careful with the preposition that you use before a city will be using a, before a country will be using o or on. Okay, so it depends on the country. If it's feminine, we use on. If it's uh, masculine, we use o, au. Okay, and if it's plural, we use aux for états unis aux Emirates, aux états unis uh, aux Antilles, for example. Quel est ton adresse électronique? Quel est ton adresse électronique? Uh, so what's your mail address? Email address. That's what adresse électronique means. Uh, so mon adresse électronique est. Okay, mon adresse électronique est. 
so then you give your email address okay so we'll see the answers now voilà so here <coughs> je cherche une correspondante okay oui je connais des acteurs français you can even say yes i know some french actors or you can say je connais un acteur français but I'm fine ils écoutent la radio they listen to the radio à la bit à marseille a comes with an accent so please uh, make a mark marseille it's actually a famous city in france okay same way like our mumbai okay marseille it's really famous for its culture it's uh, uh, it's located in the south okay so it's in the south of france and the last one mon address electronic a peter chris arabas gmail.com for example and we use mon address okay address it's feminine but still it starts with a vowel so we use mo the masculine adjective possessive okay? so that's it for today uh, the remaining exercises we'll do it in the next session okay so see you guys take care bye bye